Hello, everyone. I am grateful to be here. Errol, thank you for that introduction. I want to also thank Judge Calabrese for his leadership, not only to Red Hook, but to Brooklyn and to our entire city, as well as to Jerry Ann Abriano and all the other dedicated and hardworking members of the Red Hook Community Justice Center for making it a model, not just for the country, but really for the world, a model of a community court that is based on fairness and that's making a difference. And so I'm grateful to be here celebrating the 15 years of excellence of the Red Hook Community Justice Center. Now, the courthouse in Red Hook is really a shining example of what we are doing here in Brooklyn to show that our criminal justice system can be based on fairness and that we can do both, protect the people of Brooklyn and make sure that our criminal justice system dispenses equal justice for all. Now, crime and safety are challenges that every community faces. And I firmly believe that as a result of all the strides that we've made here in New York City over the last couple of decades, that we have made progress, but we must do better. As long as we have senseless gun violence and bloodshed in some of our communities, we must do better. As long as we continue to let thousands of guns flood the streets of our great city from states down south with lax gun laws, we must do better. And as long as our children and our police officers continue to be shot and killed by armed criminals, criminals who are armed by gun smugglers, who are really merchants of death, we must do better. And so I believe that we must use our limited criminal justice resources to investigate and prosecute violent and serious crime. But where we can, we must use our local resources to deal with the underlying causes of crime, whether that be addiction, trauma, or unemployment. And so I applaud the Red Hook Community Justice Center because its approach is something that we all should embrace. Its approach is important because its greatest asset is that it not only is in the community, but it stands with the community and its doors are open to all, whether they be victims or defendants. And it also plays a key role in lifting an enormous burden that faces many people here in Brooklyn and throughout our city. And that is a burden of warrants that we have. It doesn't matter whether you live in Red Hook or whether you live in Brownsville. If you have a warrant for your arrest because you rode your bike on the sidewalk or walk your dog without a leash, we have to do better. A bench warrant should be issued for people who refuse to come to court, not law-abiding folks who miss a court appearance. And so for every person who doesn't have to take a whole day off from work to go to the summons court in Manhattan, or for every young person who is not saddled with a bench warrant for the first time because they miss a court appearance, the Red Hook Community Justice Center is helping us make strides and strengthen the relationship between law enforcement and the community. So my office, the Brooklyn DA's office, is seeking to model what we have in Red Hook through our Begin Again initiative, the program that allows us to go into churches, houses of sanctuaries, sanctuaries of worship to turn them into sanctuaries of justice, where people are coming from all over the city to Brooklyn to get the burden of a warrant lifted off their shoulders. And since June, we've had a number of Begin Again events throughout the borough. And 2,000 people have come because we put out the call. We don't have to do that in Red Hook because of the great court that we have there. Now, the Begin Again initiative that we have in our office is designed to add to the great work that's being done at the Justice Center, work that allows us to strengthen the relationship between law enforcement and the community. Without a doubt, the work that's being done in the Justice Center adds legitimacy to all the work that we're trying to do. Now, I'm determined to work with the Center for Courted Innovation to make sure that we take this model that we have in, in Red Hook and we bring it to Brownsville. We bring it to a community that desperately needs a community justice center. We need to make sure that the people of Brownsville see that we're invested, invested in their safety and we can't have an approach where we come in and we impose our will. We must show them that we're there to keep them safe and that we're determined to do justice in partnership with them. And so I'm determined to make sure that we get all the great things that we've done in Red Hook, that we take it 
to the people of Brownsville. Because when we have a court, when we have a court like we have in Red Hook, that treats everyone who walks through the door with dignity and respect, that seeks to reduce mass incarceration, and that seeks to prevent crime by investing in our youth, then that is a com community court that our, everyone in our community, in Brownsville, anywhere else in Brooklyn, can look at and know that their justice system belongs to them. And so I think that that's powerful, and I think every court should act like that and should work like that. So I salute the Red Hook Community Justice Center. I am determined to work with you hand in hand to bring the Red Hook model throughout all of Brooklyn so we can have every community benefit from the great jewel we have in Red Hook. Thank you all for having me. To make sure that we take this model that we have in, in Red Hook and we bring it to Brownsville. We bring it to a community that desperately needs a community justice center. We need to make sure that the people of Brownsville see that we're invested, invested in their safety and we can't have an approach where we come in and we impose our will. We must show them that we're there to keep them safe and that we're determined to do justice in partnership with them. And so I'm determined to make sure that we get all the great things that we've done in Red Hook, that we take it to the people of Brownsville. Because when we have a court, when we have a court like we have in Red Hook, that treats everyone who walks through the door with dignity and respect, that seeks to reduce mass incarceration, and that seeks to prevent crime by investing in our youth, then that is a com community court that our, everyone in our community, in Brownsville, anywhere else in Brooklyn, can look at and know that their justice system belongs to them. And so I think that that's powerful, and I think every court should act like that and should work like that. So I salute the Red Hook Community Justice Center. I am determined to work with you hand in hand to bring the Red Hook model throughout all of Brooklyn so we can have every community benefit from the great jewel we have in Red Hook. Thank you all for having me. <laughs>